let's continue. The next step, let's see how to change the server host name. If you're not already on this page, you can just go to bizanosa.com slash ubuntu22. So I'm going to change the server host name. Just click there. Host name control. And then you can set the host name. Now this does a bunch of different things. But what you want to do with it is just to change the host name. And then you'll use the host name that you want to use there. So make sure you're using a fully qualified domain. A fully qualified domain could be a subdomain or a full domain. Like in this case, this is a sub domain. So let's say I want to change mine to that. I'll come back here and you can check your current host name on Ubuntu 22.04. Just type host name. I changed it to this. So let's see how we can change it to something else that is a fully qualified domain name. I can use this as my sample because I'm not using this server for anything, but make sure you're using a fully qualified domain name. So this part here, a fully qualified domain name is a domain that can be accessed. When you add DNS records, it can be accessed. So that's a fully qualified domain name. So instead of using example.com, let me just use bizanosa.com as an example. So I'll use this as an example. And when I do this, it's going to change my server host name. So right now the server host name has been changed. The next step is for you to add the host name onto your hosts file. Now the hosts file is this one here. It's in it's found inside of Etsy hosts. Now this is like a DNS for your Linux server. Even Windows has a hosts file. This is something that just points an IP address to a host name. So that's what you want to do inside of this file. Let's go and see what we have inside of this file. So I'll open it with nano and you can see that it's already telling me that this system is configured to use something different to change my host name. So even if I change this, it's not going to persist. But let me just tell you how to change it here because maybe your VPS is different from mine. Mine is Valtra and with Valtra, the new VPSs, if you change the hosts file, it usually will not register. It will not register you have to change it somewhere there so let me just tell you how you can change it here if your vps is not like mine and if you change it here it will persist if you change it here and it will persist this is how you can change it on your vps so you can just leave the first two as they are and then down here you can see i already tinkered with this file a bit and i added this my ip so the next thing you want to add is your ip as well and this is a host name and this is just an alias for your host name. When you log in, that's what should be up there. Uh, the changes that are, I put here are not registering. And if I restart the server, any changes I make will just be overwritten. That's how you can change the host file. Just come in here, put your IP address. And if the one dot, if this local host IPs don't have it, then you need to add the local host IP with the host name and then the alias and then do the same for your do the same for your IP address just copy your IP address paste it there and then that is your host name that the one that you've changed to and then that is the alias so let me copy my so I'll just do control x I want to copy I want to copy this copy so let me show you how you can add it here. If you have to add it here, just come all the way down with your cursor and add it. Shift insert to paste. I will paste that there. So I'll do the same for this one. But for now, even if I save this and I restart, the changes will not persist. But maybe on your VPS, they will persist. It depends on your VPS configuration. So like in this one, if I do sudo reboot, So 
So if I was to go back into that file, you'll see that my changes have been overwritten. My changes were removed. Okay, so you can see they tell you if you want to make these changes, you can make the changes in the template file or you can remove this value inside here. So even if you remove this value here, it's not there. So we're just going to do this the hard way and the hardest, the, the best way I can think of is just to copy this and to make those changes inside of this file. And we're not going to, we're just going to add the changes that we need inside of this file. And when it starts, it's going to copy those from this template file. So I'm just going to do control X to get out of here and then I will do sudo and I will open it with nano and you can see the this is where it's getting the templates for your host file so even if you put it in here it it is not a problem now the only issue that I found was that sometimes even when you change this it's not going to register in the hosts file so I found that the easiest way for me to deal with this was just to put the manual copy. So the easiest thing was just for me to put the manual host host name and the fully qualified domain in there instead of using the placeholders instead of using the templates you can just put this so what I mean is, if we come back into the server and you scroll down here, where it says fully qualified domain name and host name, you can just remove this. Shift insert to paste inside of, inside of git bash. And then for this one as well, I'll just remove all this. So put your IP address down here so that your server can know that your hostname is mapped to your IP address. So I'm going to do shift insert again. This will work with Valtra and a bunch of VPS providers that follow the same method. If yours is different, maybe the virtualization environment is different, then it may not work like this. I'm going to save control X, Y, enter. And let me just confirm if this is going to change it. If it doesn't change it, let's come back here. It's not going to change it yet until we reboot. But if it doesn't change it, we need to go inside of this file and change something from false to true. Control X. Let me reboot. Give it some time to start back up. So you just do control L to clear the screen. So let's go back into that file. So let me just go into the file and see what the issue is. So you can see the problem is <laughs> I used example and my sub, my hostname, my hostname is hostname is that so the issue is it was unable to resolve and that's because that's not my hostname my hostname is this you remember i changed it so if you're following along you know exactly what the issue is and i don't really have to i don't really have to to explain this so i'm just going to copy this copy and i will take it back into that file the file that i was working with back into the template file So let's save that, control X and let's reboot. So you 
you can see the error has gone away and you can see your host name has been saved as it should be. If you want the changes to persist, you can change them in the template directly. Now, if they don't change, you can also go into this file, copy. If you're unable to actually change the host name itself, and that is by using the hostname ctl command, you can go into this file. Mine is already changed to true. So if yours is not changing the hostname itself, even after you reboot, the hostname is not changing because you're unable to use the hostname set update command, then come here and change this to true. Mine is already changed to true. So this should help you change your, your server host name. So the next step in this setup is to set time, no time zone. The next thing is to set time zone for your server. And that's very easy, you're just going to do that. If you don't have this, install it, sudo apt install that. If you're following along on Debian 11, you may need to install that. And then after that, you're going to go into setting up automatic update for Debian 11. And that will be the last thing that we need to do for our server in this Ubuntu 22.04 initial server setup.